Good morning, welcome to the back of the East Dulwich Ludlow Thompson office. Here we are. Hi, I'm Shrubsy. This is Shrubsy. I am now I am now Ludlow's horticulturalist. Indeed. And uh, we are being tasked to transform this pile of pile of brambles into something very nice and community based going forward. <laughs> that sounds amazing, Shrubsy. Let's have a quick look at what you're gonna do and where. Um, Ideally, what we're going to do is, within the first transformation, is clean all of the clear all of this and cover it, while we make up decisions what we do for the design. Ideally, what I would like here is a, a living wall to represent some of the work I'm doing. Then, with on here, I'm thinking off the cuff before talking about anything. Will be a bit more decked area, some more bits, and also I do with my with my shrubsy stuff. We do clean air planters that give like a clean air envelope. So I'm hoping to showcase some of them here. And then obviously we have diagnostic equipment so we can test the air quality of the garden before and after to give us an idea of what an urban space and how we can clean it up with our stuff. Sounds absolutely awesome. Can't wait to see what you do. Yeah. All right. It's four o'clock. He's been here all day. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. We managed to reclaim a bit more ground up that way. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. So, and I like, see the back of the house for the first time in God knows how many years. What have you found down here? Uh, well, an extra garden, you know, for, for people to, to, to have a little raven. Look, Look at this. Instead of all five people. Did not know that this was here. Steps and everything. A nice little place for tea, for tea party. Could fit a one bed in there. So here we are in the back end of April's, looking very nice and clean on the decking. Here's our man. Yeah, we took over my last visit, but unfortunately you're obviously skiving work. Oi. I don't know, I was here being really busy. So um, I come in and give it a jet wash to get rid of the algae. What's going on in the garden? So in the garden, here's oops a daisy. The ground cover has been blown off. Oh no. And the weeds are exposed. However, we are not head high in bramble and stuff. Which is good. So it's not so bad. So today I'll just cover it back over again. Lovely. And today I've come in to measure up because of part of the design we now have been, been said yes to is we have a cedar fencing going all the way around Ooh. which would be nice uh, a bit similar to the one you can see at the back there but ours will be red cedar from yeah. canada and nice. not english cedar yeah. we're just debating now whether to go for standard decking like this or whether to go with composite decking however i think now that we've decided to use planters from a project in kennington i think it's probably best that we stick with uh, with this and that is your update. I have to go to a viewing and you are going to send me that plan and I'm going to drop it in here. All right, it's, mo <laughs> it's Monday night. Shrubsy's boys are in and they are delivering the goods. What have we got? Rose beds, Ooh, gravel. gravel. Goodness me, oh, look at this. Well. Here's all, oh, look at that. Did you make these? <laughs> yeah. The transformation is about to begin. We're going for the rustic look. Apparently in so. This garden. Look at this. Here we are, Monday, 17th of May. The pubs are open, and our pal Shrubsy has brought a whole load of plants with him. Look at that, and is ready to set up his diagnostic system. Here they are, Shrubsy and Jay, and this amazing box of tricks. So What's this is going to do. This is our diagnostic box. That will then test the air for pollutants, dust particles, and uh, and, uh, and sort of anything that might cause it unwell being to people. So what we'll do is we'll install this and start collecting data over the next few weeks between between now and every time we do an instalment to get an idea of what we need to plant. Now with the Wi-Fi not being so hot, we're going to just store data on a data card, and then we can then take it back for analysis rather, than, have, rather than live streaming. And then that will dictate what plants you might put in? It most certainly will. 